this is a quick little update video. I just got back from Las Vegas and uh, I did awful, terrible with taking my, um, what is it? Because I, I remember to take my MSM. I was pretty good about the vitamin C, but I did really terrible with remembering to take my glutathione. Now I brought glutathione in the pill bottle and let me show you what bottle I used. I actually used the first brand of glutathione that I ever bought and um, this is a pretty strong glutathione. It still allowed my body to go through the purge. Anyways, it's um, it just looks like this. This is glutathione superior potency and um, this is actually a mixture of each capsule has 500 milligrams of glutathione and when you empty it out it does equal you know the right um, um, well, it looks like the right amount compared to when you just put it towards regular glutathione powder. But so 500 milligrams per capsule plus 100 milligrams of milk thistle, and it has alpha lipoic acid, which I'm really liking the acid. There's something a little bit different about this glutathione, and I'm assuming it's probably the alpha lipoic acid. I need to do more research on it. Like I said, I was on vacation for the last four days so um i haven't really had a chance to do a deep dive on it i had the time to look at milk thistle and i didn't really see a whole lot um not, just not a whole lot of information putting it out from the rest of supplements as far as skin lightening so i'm hoping to find more information on skin lightening with the lipoic acid um but yeah, I did awful with washing my face. I wore makeup because I told you guys I went to the dermatologist and I had them put the acid on my face. It has helped a little bit. Um, but anyways, so I wore makeup again and um, I stopped wearing makeup um, fall of last year. And um, this was long before my skin um, lightening journey. But I stopped wearing makeup because my skin was breaking out so bad and um, oh. Go your whole life wearing makeup and then stop it took me three or four months until my my skin just kind of like i don't know evened out it's like i don't know i think for some people it doesn't matter if we're using high-end makeup or if we're using um drugstore makeup it will break you out and um yeah that's exactly what happened to me as soon as i started wearing it again i started breaking out more um and of course i wasn't taking it off at night because I was just too freaking tired. But um, yeah, I'm pretty much done with makeup. When I say makeup, I just mean foundation and powder. Um, I still love, you know, eyeliner and mascara. But as far as like, you know, foundation and powder, for some of us, it just, it does more harm than it does good, to be honest. But anyways, um, so yeah, for the first, I think three days, maybe only two days, I took enough of this to actually do something. For yesterday, I forgot completely. I didn't even take vitamin C. I remembered MSM at least, and um, I have bumped up my MSM um, dosage. I'm now taking 20,000 milligrams, which is um, really, really good for skin lightening. <laughs> that That is the, uh, if, if you look on some of these blog type forum websites, um, they mostly recommend getting up to 20,000, but some people say you don't need to take more than 5,000. Um, but you can make your own choice on how much you want to take. But anyways, I remember to take the MSM at least, but I, I sucked. On the travel day over there, I forgot, and on the travel way back, I, yeah, I didn't take enough. Um, and I did not do the anal, um, the rectal implant either. I just took it orally. And, um, <laughs> so for the two days I was gone, well, okay, so the first day that I left, I did take some of my glutathione that I had in the fridge, so it was the liposomal, and, um, I at least got 4,000 milligrams of that along with vitamin C, but that isn't even really a full dosage. You should really aim for at least 6,000 milligrams, so that was on the day leaving, so really there was only one day where I didn't get any, any glutathione. But it's hard keeping up with it while traveling. Um, it really, really is. I think I'm going to look into a um, handheld nebulizer instead of one that has to be plugged in. A handheld one will be, you can use it with batteries pretty much. And it's not supposed to be as loud 
and I'll it, let you know if it's worth it because it would be helpful to have something to use when you're out, either if you're at work and you're on like your lunch break in your car or whatever. Um, because yeah, it's really hard keeping up with trying to do rectal implants or if you're, if you make homemade liposomal, I think you have to keep it, um, refrigerated. So it's just, uh, I failed guys. I failed. <laughs> it was hard. Um, I did my best to stay out of the sun, but there were times where I'm just walking down the street for like 10 minutes and the sun is blaring down and it's 108, 109 degrees. The first day getting there was the hottest day. It was about 110. Um, after that, it was about 108, 109, which is, you know, um, better. <laughs> it's better. Um, but yeah, um, some of you have been sending some questions and I'm sorry I have not answered any questions while I've been gone these last four days. And um, from what I glanced over them, from what I saw is some people are having trouble dissolving it in the water to use it with their nebulizer. As you see the nebulizer, you can only use six cc of water. And um, I think that's only about one full tablespoon, um, which is quite, quite, well, not tablespoon, teaspoon one teaspoon of water, which is should be more than enough, but it's just not happening. You'll see in the vaporizer, it's not enough water to make the vapor, so it's sucking the water out, and then you'll have silt at the bottom. I'm going through this exact same thing, and um, I'm about to start experimenting with other ways of doing this. Um, number one, if you look on some of the nebulizer tutorials, how-tos from the doctor's offices, they've posted some on YouTube, and if you look, they are using a liquid form of glutathione, um, and it's in like a small little brown vial, and they're having to use literally a syringed needle to extract how many cc they're needing to add to the nebulizer. Um, I only saw that you were able to use powder and water from another gentleman has a website, and so he used tablets, which you can buy glutathione tablets specifically for a nebulizer, online so if you wanted to go that route you can or he was just saying just add it the powder with water but just make sure you add baking soda now he is not doing it for skin lightening purposes so these people are only taking a few hundred milligrams of glutathione we're trying to put 2,000 milligrams of glutathione in only one teaspoon of water which usually works you know it gets milky and then you drink it or you know you stick it up your bum if you're using um a rectal implant someone tried to use a catheter and i think that is a really i mean i've never used a catheter but i'm it's really 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 small they're saying um whatever they were using it just it didn't all the way come out or something um i've used it with just a regular syringe without a needle just a regular syringe that you would give like to a child or we're using it for rect up your rectum um and i've never had any issues with getting it all out um so I have no experience with using it with a catheter or anything like that. Um, but I'm about to experiment today because I'm about to do probably three or four treatments to make up for how awful I've been for two days out of my trip. Especially since I've only been taking glutathione orally as well. <laughs> So I'm about to experiment with doing only a thousand milligrams with the six cc of water. And then the second would be using warm water. Um, just using warm water, maybe either heat it up on your stove, heat it up in the microwave, whatever, or out of your coffee pot, or if you have a kettle, just warm water, dissolve it in the warm water, and then put it into the nebulizer. So not like boiling hot, like let it cool down a little bit, but just warm enough to get the glutathione to completely dissolve on its own. Because a lot of people have been asking, is adding all this baking soda going to mess with our results? And I have no idea. I have not been using it long enough to even see. Um, let me see when I even bought my nebulizer because I feel like it's only been two weeks and um, that's just not enough time to have all of the kinks ironed out. It's like I saw a difference and I saw a change after my first time of using it, but it can be improved. Okay, so I bought it on July 3rd and I think I got same day delivery, so. <clears throat> well, no, it was delivered July 3rd, so that was the first day that I used it. So yeah, it's only been um, 16 days of me using it. So yeah, there there's still some kinks that need to be worked out. So I'm going to try one using just, because you can use 
spring water you can use distilled water when it comes to the nebulizer you do not have to use um, distilled if you don't have it um, I just use distilled because I like it because I know it pulls all the nutrients and it allows your body to absorb it but some people say it can pull out bad stuff as well if it's touching plastic or whatever but I, I don't know just make sure you're using BPA free plastic I mean you can't win them all here but yeah I'm going to try with only a thousand milligrams to the one teaspoon of water and then for my second treatment I'm probably just gonna do them back to back um, I'm going to try the 2000 milligrams like I would usually do per treatment and I'm going to try dissolving it in warm water first letting it cool a little bit where it's like you know room temperature or something and then pull it, pouring it in my nebulizer and um, we're gonna try to see if we can cut out using baking soda at all because you do have to use quite a bit of the baking soda if you want it to go completely clear if you're using 2000 milligrams plus the 6 cc of water um, which you cannot go over the 6 cc of water because that is the fill line on the nebulizer so yes there is still a lot more room let me go grab the nebulizer so when you're adding your liquid um this is the 6 cc line way down here so yes you have all this room but you're it says do not go over that fill line and um, I encourage you not to <laughs> follow the directions don't add too much but yeah I've, I've noticed the silt that's left in the bottom and I don't think it's an issue with the glutathione type um, I think it's just we're vaporizing water and getting it into these clear microscopic bubbles so that it can you know go down into our lungs and go you know just throughout our body and then be absorbed into our bloodstream directly and um i think it's too much powder it because you can dissolve it completely if you were to take you know just a glass of water pour in 2000 milligrams um of this glutathione it's going to go away completely it's just it's just not enough water to use in a nebulizer which is ran off of water to make these tiny microscopic bubbles um yeah it's, it's just too much powder so um and to prove that i'm also going to use another this is just a, another vitamin brand of glutathione which i do trust i don't use it because obviously after i saw that taking glutathione orally was not as helpful unless it's liposomal. That's just why I just left this bottle half empty just in a cabinet and just didn't use it anymore because um, taking it orally, it has to fight your stomach acid and then it gets broke down and then it goes out through your excrement and you don't want that. Um, so I never used this type um, rectally because I was scared when I read the ingredients and I saw the milk thistle even though I know milk thistle and alpha lipoic acid i've seen it in other skin lightening um as other agents and other brands of uh, just skin lightening either if it was like a pill or if it was um a topical i've seen it so like i know that these things will help um i just don't really know if you should be putting that up your butt <laughs> um yeah <laughs> so that's why i haven't tried it um that was before i learned about the baking soda but like I said, I do not know if baking soda is counteracting what glutathione does. And so that does that does worry me a little bit because you do have to add a good amount of the baking soda to take it away. Um, I noticed that when I add baking soda to my rectal syringe or my rectal implant, I don't have to add that much. I just really, I just take a, like a little sprinkle and I do like that. And then I feel no discomfort, no tingling, no burning, no nothing. It's it's fine. Everything's great. But to use it in a nebulizer, you have to use a lot um, to even get it clear. So yeah, uh, the milk thistle. Yes, I know that it does help in skin lightening. I just don't know how big of a benefit is it. If that makes any sense. Um, I don't know just like i said i just kind of looked it up really quick and i didn't really find anything really raving about it no one's saying just use milk, milk thistle by itself and mega dose it and you're going to get white 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 um obviously there are better supplements to do that being msm and glutathione um so yeah next i just need to learn some more about the alpha lipoic acid and um i'll get back to you guys on that but yeah so i'm going to try you could, I have to understand these are only 500 milligrams per capsule. So when I was taking these, 
on um, vacation, I had to take four at a time to even get up to 2,000 grams three times a day. So I'm going to probably do the 2,000 grams and I'm going to put them in some water and then um, six cc of water so I can use them in the nebulizer. And then we will see if I have to add baking soda or not. So then we will know if it's the brand of glutathione that we're using with the nebulizer that's adding the silt or if it's just, it's too much powder, which I believe it's just too much powder. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, I have three different little experiments to do today and um, a lot of glutathione to get in my system since I, I missed the day. Um, hopefully I can figure this out and I'll make a video sharing what I found. Um, I guess we're just gonna make this an all around update. So as far as I told you guys about the um, the female pills I was taking, tight yoni pills, <laughs> they're not called that. <laughs> okay, so I was using this. It This is called MC Curves. Um, basically, I only bought this because it has my Cassip Fatima and um, yeah the only reason why I bought it just to get that um, I need to find the actual leaves to make my own tea or just the powder and just take the powder straight up because that would probably be a little well a lot cheaper this is about $35 a bottle but the bottle um, does last a month so there's that at least and um, like I said I saw a change within three days three days but like I said I didn't necessarily have like a gap down there or anything um I was just using it to stop my queefing <laughs> once I learned that queefing is when air gets in there and if air is getting there when you're not having sex or you're not doing something weird that air should even get up there it's just like um how is it letting in air anyways it was just an issue I've never had before so I fixed it and it was fixed right off the bat so I'm very very happy and it's actually fixed me up even better than I thought I would be so I'm very very happy like I said and then this is the gal nut um, also known as menjikani powder and it's made out of gal nuts which are grown on a tree it's on tree bark and it's ground up it is very 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 bitter you can get this in like a supplement form and just take um, by supplement I just mean pill and um, take it that way uh, that's gonna be a little more expensive I think this whole jar of just a straight powder which of course no one wants this because it's so bitter it's so, like no one wants to take it straight up and I don't encourage you to take it straight up I do mix this in warm water with raspberry leaf tea which is also very 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 good for your um, your womanly muscles down there but yeah, this is this was the cheaper option, just buying it straight up instead of capsulized. Cause they like to like if you get it capsuled, they like to charge you like three times more <laughs> for the exact same thing. The exact same powder. It's hilarious. So I've been taking this for let me see how long. <clears throat> I feel like I started on the twenty sixth of June. It's been over three weeks, I know that for sure. Which is what they say. Well, that this is what people off the streets this is what the reviews have been saying that after three weeks they were like it's a whole new poom poom you are reupholstered unless i can get the powder by itself so then i can just make my own tea um i will be probably buying another bottle of this because it actually does work things are so tight so tight um and like i said i also take this but but, but, but if you're going to take this, you cannot take it during your period. And I do not know why. I don't know why. But if you do research on this, you will find um, that most helpful sites that are going to give you all of the information that you need about this. This is also used as an astringent. You use this on your face, um, kind of like a witch hazel almost. Um, this also removes any odor down there. I do not recommend because there are some places who say to apply this topically to do like a gal nut gel or even soak like a tampon in gal nuts mixed with water so like in the tea and then put it up there i i would not do any of that do not put anything down there you got you can take this orally take it as a tea that's what i do i take this I, you know i put this in a cup with some very very hot water along with some raspberry loose leaf tea and i drink it like that and then these are just like capsulized pills so i just take the pill but Anyways, um, 
yeah do not be putting anything down there you don't need to do that this you will get all of the nutrients and all of the great um benefits of both of these products just by taking them orally so that's that's just how i feel <laughs> i'm really weird about putting anything down there like i feel like it's completely unnecessary if you do do a deep dive on it you'll find that most sites that you're gonna get your information say do not take this while you're on menses while you're on your period and so i just started mine yesterday so this is actually going to be the first few days that i'm not taking this um, which is kind of sad i'm gonna miss not taking it because I don't know i this, these are like miracle products i love these so much i wish it was more um acceptable to talk about tightening down there and i feel like this is kind of like a weird conversation to be having but it's one of those ones that i just have to throw out there um they actually do work and it's amazing if you are not sexually active some people who used it they went three weeks without putting anything up themselves i guess just to allow it to get is tight as it could and then they tested it um though even the people who were sexually active they said that their partner noticed the difference within some like a week now those who had issues like um uterine prolapse where you might have like a two finger gap down there something like that you have to give it more time you have to use it for like a full three weeks before you will see anything but even those people who thought there was no help for them and they were about to go get surgery to make them tighter um this worked miracles for them and so you never really know when you're reading stories or reading reviews if it's true but just after using it it's like yeah no people aren't being paid to write about this it it legit works so i love it i love it love i love it but yeah for whatever reason you can't use it on your period and um i'm sorry i don't have the answer as to why but i'm just going to listen as far as the cassette fatima um i haven't read anything bad about using it on your period but yeah that's just a little update on those <laughs> on those items so um yeah they are awesome they are awesome <laughs> you will see a difference and um this short video is now 23 minutes so i'm just um i'm gonna go now i'm I, that's just all i had to say hopefully i answered everyone's questions because the same questions that you're having right now about the nebulizer same questions that I'm having as well.